okay guys today i'm going to show you how are you going to automate your cursor position for instance in my input box down here whatever the input if, uh, length of the text gets to three it will give into another position as you can see when i'm tempting here uh, three three digits it will be the the cursor position will be positioned into another what? text field for instance uh -huh. let me one two three another position uh -huh. one two three another position one two three another position so i'm going to show you step by step on how i'm going to do this one you know this is javascript yeah uh, use it to be make these things to be in a clear way okay let me give a shot by starting this uh code take here let him automate refresh here let me save here uh-huh let me refresh here nothing happens let's give a quick start yes i can as you can see there it's just an automatic using a hk app okay let me start to fill up these things down here uh-huh fill them fill them yeah okay Yes, I'm setting the maximum length of my input to be three digits. Yeah, so on key up it will provide a function. Uh-huh. Let me give this bunch of function down here. I'll give some variables which I'll define them on my JavaScript. Okay, let me give a function. Yeah. Give that a function. Give a copy, give a paste since you got three of the input boxes huh? changing those ideas input one input two, two and input three okay so for the for the name of these functions and uh, it said functions and also it should provide a certain name of the function called imp2 understand it yeah okay copy and come here and give it a paste okay let's keep moving step by step down here yeah i think my input fields are well positioned so let me give it uh-huh let's go to the, to the javascript part let's give a script mm. let's give him a script okay we have to define the function that we have huh? that we have uh, initialize on, on key up okay let's say function flow we have two function function flow and the function not and the function two let's give a definition of these ones okay Yeah, whatever those two kind of function will be lining, we we'll create some variables. Mm -hmm. For well, instance, this first variable, yeah, it's line value, length goes to flow dot value dot length. You know, the flow is just the previous, uh, the previous input feed from the other one. You get it? Yeah so when we say uh available lean will be meaning the input the maximum value of the input field of the previous field okay also let's create let's create another variable for the maximum length of the input fields uh-huh available mx goes to document.get uh, attribute so this value will be what we'll be getting well we'll be getting the attribute of the maximum length mm -hmm. and the attribute of this is uh, three the attribute is three okay let's continue 
so let's give a condition here uh, yeah of course we have to make so here we have to get the attribute of previous input field not the whole document or the flow that is the previous input field okay let's continue so now we are saying if then length is equal to the maximum length of the input field you know we, sh we should say that the cutter position should be into the next input field by down here nothing happens because we don't we haven't put the focus method so we mean here that when the maximum length of the input field is equal to three hmm, the cutter position should be into a next input field as you can see thanks guys thank you hope